Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Where are we today? Well, we're in the little village of Wanush in the Surrey Hills, just next door to Bramley. So we've got Bramley and Wanush villages. I'm here at Bramley and Wanush railway station, the abandoned railway station that opened in 1865, then closed 100 years later uh, in 1965, part of the Cranley line. And that's because of the old infamous beaching cuts. We've all heard of the old beaching cuts. I've been to a couple of stations that he's uh, annihilated um, recently. Uh, Christchurch, which is on this line, um, of the West Grinstead as well. I might do a little bit of exploring about some of these lines. It's really quite interesting um, how it's sort of re-landscaped um, our railway network. These lines now, this is on the, the Downs Link, which is a national, well, not a national trail, but the Downs Link, which um, connects the North and South Downs. It's a great cycle path and walking route. Uh, we need to do a little bit more of that actually as well. So yeah, let's have a quick look around the, uh, the abandoned station. The Horsham to Guildford Direct Railway opened on October 1865, following an Ant Act of Parliament in 1860. Yeah, I read this online, this is really sad. Uh, on the 16th of December 1942, eight people lost their lives and 36 more, more were injured when a train from Guildford was bombed and machine gunned um, and it approached Bramley Station by the Nazis. Just think of that, running up to Christmas, people trying to make the best of things in the middle of a war. Yeah. What's always fascinated me when I'm out exploring historic sites is that you're occupying the same space but not in time of our ancestors and people of the past. I mean I'm on a railway line now and um, there have been trains coming along here right up until 1965. Now it's a very pleasant uh, walking trail. I've always found that fascinating, occupying the same space but not in time uh, as other people in the past. just in Bramley now, the village next door to Wanush. Very ancient settlements uh, around here, going back to Mesolithic times. So rich in history. As someone is mowing the lawn, we'll carry on continuously anyway. Um, yeah, someone's mowing. <laughs> this is Holy Trinity Church in Bramley. Used to be three churches in this parish going back many, many years. I think the earliest mention is the 13th century. This is pretty much a newer church. This is Victorian. But there could have been, this could have been the site of one of those ancient churches. No one's uh, sure. 
um, it's very nice. There seem to be some midweek services going on in these churches around these parts, um, which are, are on a Thursday at 10.30, so uh, I don't know if people are going to be in the, in the church or not, but we'll have a quick look and uh, see what's what. As I, as I said just now, we are really in an ancient settlement here, you know, um, and we're walking the same path as our, our ancestors in space, but obviously not in time. I did find that absolutely fascinating. It apparently is uh, very nice, very nice, very picturesque in places. It's a little bit, some of it, a little bit run down, but hey. Yeah, the chancel in this church is the oldest part, 13th century but the rest of it is pretty much Victorian. Oh, that's rather nice, look at that. So from Holy Trinity Church in Bramley, we're now going to head back down the road to Wanish, have a look around the church there and the village, and then lunch at the Grantley Arms, I think it's called. It's a 500-year-old uh, pub. Lovely. Let's go. So now we're in the village of Wanish. I think that's pronounced correctly. As a Surrey person, I'm, I don't want to get it wrong, as I'm in my home county. And um, like Bramley, a very, very ancient settlement. Even in later history, there's 27 listed buildings here. Um, I don't think I've ever even driven through Bramley, before, uh, through, through Wanish before. Um, it's really nice. Once again, lots of traffic, clogging up the shots. Um, I have to do the best I can. I'm on a more mud, guys. You've seen the recent videos about mud. I'm on a little little trail and I'm just trying not to slip up. But I'm just outside the church. I'm going to have a quick look at the church in a minute. It's a lovely, warm, uh, late spring day. Going into summer now. There's a folly up on Chinthurst Hill at the top, which we're not going to today it's a bit muddy um, and I've seen pictures and it's all boarded up anyway so but it's a folly we've done plenty of follies on this video uh, those of a certain age um, remember the artist on BBC called Tony Hart do you remember Tony Hart um, with Morph he lived in Wanish for uh, over 40 years uh, until he I think he passed him was it 2007 something like that um, 
So yeah, going back, this is, you know, there's been a settlement here, permanent settlement since Anglo-Saxon times, but I say they, they found Mesolithic um, flint work um, around the area. So the Surrey Hills, covering the Surrey Hills of outstanding natural beauty, um, it's uh, very, very uh, well known for that, uh, that kind of findings. Right, let's go and have a look at the church. So this is St John the Baptist Church, very likely Saxon in origin, and it's got, uh, I'm going to read it out so I'll get it right, the 12th century tower, 13th century chancel, and 15th century north chapel. And it's a really lovely setting, really lovely setting. You can still hear the, um, the traffic outside. I'm not sure if something's going on today because the, the car park is full, although I don't hear any noise, but we'll, we'll see. So this part's 1901. So, borderline Victorian into Edwardian. It's linked to St Martin's in Blackheath nearby. And say the last renovation done here was in 1901. Where you were and the blinds put down. You love it when nobody's around. I want to call out Pine Town, but you bite my lip, don't make a sound. I'll be down if I'm leaving. The last burial here was in 1861. It's a nice little area just to sort of chill out garden here. Very nice. Well, there are people in there so um, I might just get some pictures if it's open. Um, let's go and have a look. Seems to be some sort of coffee morning going on in this in the new section but the, the door going into the main church is locked. Ah, open. When they say open once again open like till six or five if you're going to be open, be open, you know. So us non-religious types can come in and look at your historic building. This is interesting. There's a little legend here. There's a weeping tomb, they call it, a 16th century tomb just by the chancel, which we can't get to, unfortunately. And every October for a few weeks, for, for years on end, this sort of sticky, oozy goo used to come out of uh, a crack in the tomb. What it was, nobody knew. This sounds like a true story, I'm not sure. Um, but when they patched up the crack, it disappeared. Obviously, because they patched it up. So I wonder what that was. Some sticky, oozy goo. But only over a couple of weeks a year in October. I didn't put that entry in my Paranormal Surrey book, so I'm, I'm slacking somewhere. This is the weeping tomb. It's north of the chancel, it says, and that way is north. So it was this one. So it's you who are oozing goo, sticky goo. Hmm. I wonder where it was the patches where they where the crack was. Interesting. But thank you anyway for the legend. Okay, so we can't get in the church, so what we're gonna do is go down to the Grantley Arms. 500 year old pub and have lunch. How does that sound? Let's go.
Wow, that was a lovely steak in the Greatly Arms in Wanish. And uh, to conclude this video, I hope you enjoyed it. The walk around Bramley and Wanish, where I am now. Oh, that was really nice. And a pub I'm going to have to come back to. I've got some few favourites actually on these travels. Um, so, really nice. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, please like, subscribe, all that normal stuff we do. And on this gloriously warm day in the Surrey Hills of outstanding natural beauty, we'll see you next time. Take care.